So uh, next, we would like to uh, invite the uh, Honorable uh, MP for Stevenson and Richmond East, uh, Joe Pachilito, to come up stage to share a few thoughts from the Canadian uh, government's perspective. Uh, 接下来呢,让我们邀请呢,国会议员呢,苏迪道先生上台来为我们说几句,他会跟我们分享,同时我相信他也带来了一份来自我们总理特鲁多的一个贺词。Go uh, ahead, Joe. Canada has had quite a successful run in the past little while on maintaining and enforcing an international liberal order for trade and investment. And it isn't a bipartisan issue. Um, myself and uh, the Honorable Alice Wong, uh, a few months back, we voted to ratify a free trade deal between Canada and the European Union which was started by the previous Conservative government, negotiated by the Honorable Ed Fast uh, from Abbotsford. Uh, we're now in the process in the House of Commons, supported by both the Liberal government and the opposition Conservatives. We are debating and will pass quite quickly a, with the support of the Conservative opposition, uh, a free trade deal with uh, the Trans-Pacific Alliance. We also had a very successful negotiation recently with our friends in Mexico and the United States for a new and improved NAFTA. And as the Prime Minister, our Prime Minister, the Right Honourable Justin Trudeau mentioned a few days ago, we look forward to deepening our economic and investment ties with the People's Republic of China. And I'd like to thank uh, David Tang and the executive of the Canada, uh, hold on, you are the Canada Chamber of Industry and Commerce for putting on this fourth summit for Canada-China investment. And as you may know, Canada was one of the first supporters of the Beijing-based Asia International Bank, first supporter both in support, but also in financial contribution. And we look forward to participating in the uh, one road, one belt system. And as the original Silk Road, it was a, a two-way street. And as a member of the international community, Canada looks forward to participating in that dialogue, participating in that Silk Road where investment, trade, but also ideas flow. Ideas of freedom of speech, ideas on the importance of faith, ideas on the importance of um, freedom of, of the press. Um, myself and uh, the Honorable Alice Wong were also part of the parliamentary diplomacy. Uh, I was blessed to be voted as the new chair on the, parliament, on the House of Commons side of the Canada-China Parliamentary Group, and Ms. Alice Wong is uh, the vice chair. Myself and Senator Day, who is the chair on the Senate side, are honored to be visiting Beijing uh, in the third week of October, where we will be meeting with the executives uh, of the People's uh, Congress. And that is the type of approach that Canada supports and will continue to fight to maintain. In fact, our trade minister, Jim Carr, will be hosting uh, 13 countries to maintain and improve a world trade organization based on international rules and openness. As a trading nation, Canada needs friends and allies, as does the People's Republic of China. And I know that we will be working together in developing a more prosperous and just and progressive world. But it's not just government officials who do that. What you're doing today with the fourth Canada-China Investment Summit is a testament to how strong our relationships are between Canada and the People's Republic of China. It's just not government officials. It's just not myself, uh, the Honorable Alice Wong, but it's business folks, social organizations like yourselves that will deepen that 
understanding. Because if you want to trade and invest with folks, you need a bit of common ground. You need a bit of understanding. And this fourth summit is, I think, a step in the right direction in doing just that. I look forward to chatting uh, with you yourselves on your ideas of how we can deepen our economic uh, ties between Canada and the People's Republic of China. And I'd like to thank Chairman David Tang for inviting me and giving me the opportunity to participate.